Hey y'all, so I am back with an updated eyebrow tutorial. Um, it's gonna be short and sweet and I'm just gonna do one brow. I just wanted to update it so you guys can see how I'm doing my brows now. Um, I'm using a different pencil. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that I wanna point out is gonna be angles. Um, you're gonna want your arch to be diagonal from your pupil. Um, that'll just help you keep it pretty even. And then you want the tail to be diagonal from the corner of your eye. Um, I know you'll see people with these like super arched or super drooped brows, um, but this will kind of help you keep from having those if you just pay attention to the angle. Um, I'm gonna start out and just kind of like brush my brows out. This will help me see what the true shape of them is. I haven't gotten them tweezed in a little bit, so they're a little bit all over the place. So brushing is gonna help with that. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is take the pencil now and go underneath my eyebrow. Uh, since they haven't been touched up, it is going to be a little bit lower, you'll notice, than the actual hairline. I also don't have, like, the most even brows, so I try to go to the lowest point of my brow and kind of start from there. They'll be a little bit thicker, though, because, like I said, they haven't been tweezed in a little bit, so this is just me kind of trying to catch all the hairs that are around and also keep them as sharp as possible. After I do that bottom line, I'm going to work through the top. Um, I know some people say do thin lines on both. I like to do a pretty decent dark line so that I can see exactly where everything is. You'll notice a little bit later that I'll go in and spoolie. Um, that's me checking that angle. I wanna make sure that I have a really nice arch. I have a scar on my brow there, so sometimes it's hard for me to get my arch perfect, so paying attention to those angles is really, really important because you can see there's like a complete gap where there's no hair. So I had to physically create the arch and now I'm gonna have to go in and fill. When I'm filling, I pay a lot of attention to the back. Um, a nice brow that looks a little bit more uh, realistic is faded nice and evenly. So the back is gonna be a little bit darker and the front will be a little bit lighter. Um, if you remember how my brows looked before I started putting this pencil on, there really wasn't that much hair at the end at all. So almost everything in the back is gonna be pencil. For the front, I do fill all the way to the front. Um, I keep it pretty, pretty light. Um, it's not gonna be as dark as it is in the back, but it is gonna be a nice fill. I um, go as close up to my nose bone as possible. This will help me get that sort of fade in the middle. And then I just keep on working the back end and making sure everything is nice and um, faded evenly throughout. Once I have the eyebrow filled and uh, colored kind of to my liking, I'm gonna take this flat angled brush. And this is just, it was a two piece brush and I used to have a spoolie on the end, but I broke the other side. Um, so I just used the flat angle portion to really go ahead and um, sharpen these lines, get it back to fine. What this is gonna do is spread some of that pencil out and make sure the lines aren't as just like stiff and you can't really see exactly where the pencil is but keeps the shape of the eyebrow and gets a really good definition. I love using it back on this back end um, just because it helps my tail be sharp and everything stay really nice and good together. I use it up front on the flat part to blend the brow out and push some of that pencil a little bit more around to give it a nice faded space. Um, and this is gonna let some of my true eyebrows show through the pencil so that it's not all looking super, super stiff. Um, again, paying attention to the back, cleaning up some of that shape. And I'm just going to work my way around the brow, checking to make sure that everything is right. Um, the front is going to be the most important. Um, so I just want to make sure that's right. Next, I'm going to go back and grab the pencil that I use. And on the back end is the spoolie. Um, this is just the same spoolie that I used in the beginning. And I want to show you guys the pencil. It's um, Wet n Wild. This one's maybe like three bucks. I used to use Anastasia Beverly Hills. There is no need as far as I see because this gives me the same perfect brows like that. Um, I'm gonna take this spoolie, pay a lot of attention to the front. This is where you want that fade. There's all the memes about girls having these taper brows and stuff like that, but that is when they are popping. Especially when you have a more defined brow like this and you're not doing like a natural looking one. 
you want to make sure that that front is nice and faded um this is when you're not getting that marker brow where it looks like you used um a sharpie or something to create your whole brown because there's no difference in the definitions um throughout i'm checking again that shape you want to make sure it doesn't go too far in front of your nose bone um then you're going to get those scream and eagle flyaway brows and also just going to touch up a little bit more to where i don't see it's as dark as i like um if you see my photos and stuff on instagram i like a drama brown so this is me making sure i have that nice drama filled down at the bottom um, I do this especially when I'm going to wear a lot of eyeshadow or do some sort of heavy eye. Um, now, this is my favorite part of the whole brow. I'm going to take this LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. I use Fawn as my highlight color as well. Um, you'll see other girls will use something super, super bright around their brows. I don't really see the need for that. Um, I don't use that much. Definitely not as much as I've seen someone use. Um, so I just try to keep it as close to my skin tone and blend. I put it on the back of my hand first. This just kind of keeps it warm um, and keep it from getting tacky as fast. I'm going to then take this um, Lux Straight Flat Brush. This is the perfect brush for your brows. It is skinny enough to give you this really, really nice, precise line. And that's what I love definitely for the bottom. I start at the bottom of my brows just like I do when I'm drawing them in. I stay super close. And at the bottom, I try to use as least um, concealer as possible. I don't really see the need to use a super, super big amount. Um, as far as underneath, all you're really trying to do is, number one, get the shape of your brows absolutely perfect. And number two, just clean them up and make them look nice and fresh. This is when you see girls who have brows that look like they just got um, waxed. This is the, the way you do that. Um, like I said, they haven't been tweezed in a while, so I'm going to go in and just make sure I cover up the spaces that I didn't overdraw with the pencil. And this is just going to make them look fresh. I'm going to really, really sharpen up that tail and get my arch precise. Um, so the concealer is going to clean up any pencil that you use that's in a space that you don't want. It'll go right over top and act like it was never there. Um, here, me pulling it down is just kind of like blending it out. If I use a little bit more concealer, I would use my pencil, but since I did keep it really nice and skinny, I can just pull it down. When I do my eye makeup, I'm going to put concealer over top of my eyes, eyelids at first um, as a base. So me blending this down is just making sure it all looks together. I absolutely despise halo brows, so I don't want it to look like my eyebrows are jumping off of my face. Me blending this down will help it just kind of have a natural transition into whatever eye makeup I do and keep it looking clean without looking like my eyebrows are a complete separate feature from my face. Um, the next part, I'm going to go in and do the tail. The tail and the arch, I feel like, are the most important parts of the brow. So I always want to make sure that these are perfect. I go in and give me a nice little sharp point here to the end and I'm going to clean up the shape of that arch. I do use a little bit more concealer at the top, but that's simply because I turn the brush around and I use it flat. Um, it's also a bigger area of my face, so it can be blended out once I put on foundation. Um, if that wasn't obvious in the beginning, I have nothing on my face right now. So my brows I do first just so that I'm able to blend out this concealer that I use. I use the brush flat as well on the top of my brows and I just completely go around them trying to stay as close to the pencil as possible i don't want to go over top of the pencil because i'm not trying to blend that line all i'm trying to do is make it stand out and clean everything up um this is where if you if you mess up your arch or the shape of anything you can use this concealer to go ahead and clean that up and reshape um just like i pulled down i'm going to pull up to go ahead and bring this concealer a little bit more into my forehead this will also help with blending It'll give my eyebrows still a little bit of pop and have them stand out, but it won't be a complete different color from my face. I won't have this halo effect because this concealer is not too many shades lighter than my skin. And I'm also blending it up and out so that when I go over with um, whether I use a stippling brush or a beauty blender, I can go right over top of that concealer and blend my um, foundation into it. Um, so pretty much that's it. Um, now I'm just checking to make sure everything is nice and even to see if I see any gaps. Um, you can see obviously a clear difference between the two. So there we are not too far in front of the nose bone. There's a little bit, but I'll clean that up. Um, diagonal from the pupil, diagonal from the corner of my eye, 
shape is looking like perfection. Um, and then when I do my next brow, I'll do it the exact same way. I'm going to put foundation in between, which will give a little bit more fade to the front of my brow. Um, but like I said, quick and easy. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. I'll put all the products I use below as well. Thanks, y'all. Holla.